Hi, today I've got a free Cricut Design Space file for you, but it requires a little explanation, so I wanted to put together a quick video to show you how to use it. Some of you already know that when you lay out things on your canvas in Design Space, it doesn't correlate to the mat. So if I want these two writing files to write on a slip of paper that I've already got on my mat, for instance, and I lay it out like this, and I click Make It, it doesn't stay where I put it. It goes to the upper left-hand corner of the mat and it puts things together. This is its normal paradigm to save paper. And we can move things here, but there's two problems with that. One is that we don't have any kind of specific measurements. We just have to eyeball it. And the other is that we can't save it this way. We have to move these every time we leave the, the cut screen and come back to our file. So this is fine for some quick things, but for other projects, you want to be able to specify exactly where something goes and you want to be able to save it. So I've made a file that will help you do that. And I'm going to share it. You'll have the, uh, the URL for this. And when you click on it, it'll open and it'll look like this which is a little messy. For some reason it doesn't save the formatting. So first thing you probably want to do is move this to 50% so you can see it on your screen or maybe if you have a bigger screen you don't need to go all the way down to 50% and you want to close the uh, compression things over here so that there's a little less cluttered. So now if I take that same image, this is from a recent foil video I did, and I'm going to turn it to a black pen just to make it easier to see. Now when I position this on the mat, let's say I want to put this specifically at 2.25 and 1.5. Now the measurements here in the X and Y position correlate to the, to the actual mat. And this green image here is just, is just a visual for you. So when you're ready to actually go to cut this or write this, what you want to do is you want to turn off the green layer, and it's just labeled Attach. And then you want to select All. And then you want to Attach. And then you want to click Make It. And when we do that, now you'll see that our writing file shows up exactly on the mat where we wanted it. And we can save the file in this configuration so that we know, now we never have to go back and move things on the preview mat if we don't want to. And this helps us to get a repeatability and a precision that you can't get when you're trying to do this by hand. 